Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We got another Beatles update here, and all these are going to be finds from kind of my local uh, record stores and a couple sort of local record stores, I guess. They've been a, they're probably about a couple hours away from me, but um, my brother just recently got a job um, uh, about a couple hours away from where I live, so when we go visit him, of course I have to check out to see if there's any record stores or antique stores that might have some records. So that's exactly what I did, and um, first, the actual record store didn't have too many or too much Beatles stuff out um, right uh, at the moment I was there, but he had a lot of uh, boxes of 45s, not in any particular order, so he just, you know, he says there might be a couple things in there Beatles related, so you just kind of have to go on a hunt for him, so... That's what I did for a little bit, and I found a couple uh, Beatles-related items, and starting off with the George Harrison 45 here, and I was pleasantly surprised to find a uh, promotional 45, and it is uh, Love Comes to Everyone on the Dark Horse label. So, let's see, there's a mono, that was the mono side, and this was the stereo side. So, happy to find that. Uh, out of all the uh, potential 45s I could be looking at, which uh, weren't Beatles related. And then um, I guess I have Apple related picture sleeves. I got it since it was only a couple dollars here, um, just because I was just going through a bunch of uh, 45s that weren't priced or anything. So Beatles uh, or Apple uh, related picture sleeve here of a. Uh, Govida by the Radha Krishna Temple. So there you go. I don't really, I, I don't, I don't really pick up too many B or Apple related uh, records right now. But when I find them for for cheap, I don't mind picking them up. And then the last thing I found, he, uh, the record store owner, uh, pointed this one out to me. That's kind of like a little novelty thing. But you got Beatlemania. Uh, giant 45 here and this is like a kind of a funky disco mashup of Beatles songs put together uh, the Beatles aren't actually singing it um, it's just kind of like a Beatles medley from the uh, 1978 so uh, interesting listen um, but kind of fun all right so that was all the finds from that particular record store or yeah record store and there was an antique store close to um, to that record store, and they happen to have a whole booth dedicated to records. So that was really cool to find. And I'm going to show you what I find what I found there. Um, they did have a lot of Beatles stuff, but it was kind of more stuff I already had. So I kind of had to kind of find my way to uh, find some stuff that I needed. So we're going to start off with. Uh, we got Paul McCartney, Chaos and Creation in the backyard. And this one is the gold vinyl version. Um, I have an original one, but I have been tempted to pick these uh, color vinyl reissues at some point. And um, it was a good price. And I was like deciding, well, let's pick it up. And I did play it. I know some of these kind of metallic y kind of uh, colored vinyl can sound a little bit not so great in term that's what I've heard from kind of metallic -y color vinyl um, but this one sounded good to my ears so I was happy with that so that was a fun find and then next up I finally picked up George Harrison uh, early takes volume one and uh, this one's still sealed but um, I think I will open this eventually um, I just need to go through and see, because we just had the All Things Must Pass box set. I just want to see what else uh, is on this album here. Um, that would be not on any other previously reissued or released uh, albums, but I'll probably uh, I'll probably eventually open this up and, uh, and listen to it. Um, will there ever be a volume two? We'll never know. Um, but with that fine for George Harrison's discography, all I would need on vinyl is uh, George Harrison Live in Japan 
to fill out his uh, discography on vinyl. Um, I would like to get, there's also a clear vinyl version of Early Takes Volume 1. That would be pretty cool to have. Um, so if I got that one, I might open that one and keep that one sealed. So anyway, again, I don't really like to keep things sealed. I just got a couple things recently that was like, I don't really need to open right now. So again, I can always keep it sealed. I just can't unseal it. So I'm just going to leave it sealed for right now. And whenever I do open it up, I'll, I'll show you the records. Um, so that was from that antique store. Now from my local record store, picked up a couple things as well. And found this one here. I didn't even really know this one got reissued uh, in 2015 for Record Store Day. But uh, this is a The Family Way. Paul McCartney produced it. And uh, this is a 2015 Record Store Day edition. So I thought it was interesting. And it was cheap enough to um, to be worth a shot to take. I have an original US one, but um, it's, a, it's a different cover. But uh, there's the labels. And um, I decided just to get the different original UK type cover, even though it's a reissue from Record Store Day. But yeah, I didn't even know that was re-released on Records for Day back in 2015, so thought it was interesting enough. And then I was really happy to find this. This record store doesn't have too many 45s, so I usually don't go through them, but they had a little recently arrived, and I was really happy to find another Record Store Day item uh, back all the way in 2010, and we got the John Lennon singles bag, and there's about, I guess, 7,000 were made, and this one's 244. So, take this out here. There we go. Comes a little record store day 45 adapter. And a little poster here. go fold that back up and here is the back so it has let's see three singles uh, with the 45 picture sleeves a 24 by 36 poster uh, three postcards and then again the a 45 adapter um, so there's some writing there and then when you flip it open it also kind of has some uh some sayings there um again it's just kind of the imagine lyrics so every record i put in the sleeve you got the mother picture sleeve and i just put the postcard behind it and uh there are all the labels And we got the Imagine with the postcard. And you got Watching the Wheels and the postcard on the purple capital. So really happy to find that one. Kind of out in the wild, kind of unexpectedly. But um, I'm slowly making all the uh, purchases from earlier uh, record store days past of uh, Beatles or solo Beatles related stuff. So that's always kind of fun to find. And then the last item I got was a eighth pressing uh, UK uh, pressing of the White Album. So this kind of came out, or this was pressed um, from 1984 to 88 time frame. And then according to my little inner sleeve. This one was pressed, uh, looks like February uh, 1986. So just kind of right in that time frame. Records were, were nice. So I decided to add another White Album to the collection. I think that makes White Album number 23 or so. Um, or 23 and a half. 
I only have one uh, record that I found from in my dad's basement. So that's where the half comes from. But yeah, looks good, all girl. Sounded good. And that's just another UK pressing to add to the collection. I don't think this one had any posters or uh, portraits or anything. Let's see. Uh, it looks like we got three of the portraits there. So it's better than none, I guess. But uh, not too worried about that since I got plenty of other copies that have posters and portraits and all that kind of stuff. So there you have it. This is kind of a little, uh, record store day, uh, or not record store day, uh, record store uh, acquirements uh, <laughs> of, uh, of uh, some Beatles records and uh, Beatles related. And it's a little Beatles friend. So. Hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned for more videos on the way. Thanks.